The Ag Minute on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture is brought to you by your Louisiana propane dealers. Fuel for our future. Louisiana is known around the world for its cuisine, but how did the state's food culture come to be? Interesting you should ask that because that's the question which started writer Maggie Hine Richardson on her omnivore's journey. Richardson is a regular contributor to the Baton Rouge Business Report and 225 Magazine and recently penned this book, Hungry for Louisiana, An Omnivore's Journey. Richardson says in her research, she saw how Louisiana agriculture helped shape the state's culinary tableau. Life is set to a really specific rhythm um, according to the food calendar. So in January, you have these very predictable things that happen. You know, it's oyster season, it's king cakes start to emerge. Um, in the spring, we have this shared recreational pattern of crawfish boils. So we're all, you know, throughout the calendar year, it's unspoken, but we know what we're going to be doing according to food. And I think that while other parts of the country have specific food cultures, ours is remarkably intact. It's been the same, it's been repeated, handed down very clearly um, throughout the generations. Uh, and I think that in today, when things are so shared, and so blended across the country. We all watch the same food network. We all read the same food blogs. It's really special to have something that is as different and as intact as our food culture is. If you would like to learn more about Hungry for Louisiana and Omnivore's Journey, you can visit our website at twilatv.org. And Kristen, she even explores why tamales are popular in the town of Zwali. Well, you know who has really good tamales? It's not in Louisiana, but it's in Natchez, Mississippi. Uh... The tamale and donut shop. Tamale oh. and donut. Tamale and donuts. That's their specialty. What a combination. So a plug. How to get advertising dollars for that. <laughs> we do our best. You just go over there and get free donuts, don't you? True. Yeah. Mom's a word. <laughs>